This is Rodolfo Malatesta. Meet your new boss, Duke Lavery. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Lavery. I've heard a lot about you. Thank you. So you want to run my club for me, then? Yes, sir. There's nothing I'd like more. Victor tells me you have excellent credentials. <laughs> I appreciate that. I have helped make other clubs popular and profitable. I promise to do the same for you. You can believe him when he says that. Good. I've checked everything out, and this place is just about perfect. I don't see any problems. Well, if you find any, you will get in touch with you. Certainly. Is there anything else you want me to know? No, just do the best you can, and everything will work out fine. I will. I'll discuss hours and things with you later. That's all for now. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Jerome? Well, what do you think? Does it matter? Where are you going? I'm going to catch the next shuttle home. Hold on. We've got family business to discuss. That's not why I came here. You're here now, so we'll talk now. I promised my wife I'd be home early. I'm going to keep my word. Okay, Duke. Just once. From now on, when I want to talk family business, you don't go anywhere. That's open for discussion, Victor. The family's business comes first. You can't run this job from Port Charles. Not if you want to honor Julian's wishes. I will honor his wishes. Then you better think hard about spending more time here. We'll talk about that. Yeah, soon. Time and time again. I don't have time to discuss it. Come on, Duke. You've got to admit you're having a problem with my father. I don't think so. Think again. You're going to honor Julian's last wish. Yes, I am. You cannot be successful in making this family legitimate if you don't spend more time in New York. I can do it. Not if you're going to yo-yo between here and Port Charles. I said I can do it. You've got a lot of people to see. It's going to take time to convince them. I know that. You can't be in two places at once. But I have the solution for you. What would that be? Me. Let me help you. I've told you before, I'm not going to go against your father's wishes. Don't worry about him. I'll take care of him. I just need your help. What kind of help? You have to tell my father that you want me to work with you. Olivia, you've told me time and time again that Julian wanted your help. You know, I never once heard Julian say that. I've only heard you say it. It's the truth. I swear it on my brother's memory. You don't know how it was between us, between Julian and me. I'm sure you're going to tell me. Yes, I am. We were very close when we were growing up, a lot closer than father realized. We thought alike. Even though we weren't involved, we knew about the drugs, about the killings. We hated it. Okay, I love you. Let me finish. We lost family members and friends, and it was awful. I know that. Julian wanted to make the family legitimate. We both did. It was our dream and our plan and our promise to each other that we would work together as partners to change things. As partners, huh? Yes. We knew Father wouldn't approve of what we wanted. But we swore we'd try. We confided. We planned. And we dreamed. And because Julian was the boy, he had to take the lead. That's the way it is. That's the way it was. Up until the time that Julian was killed. It was almost as though he had a premonition. What do you mean? The, a week before he died, a day before I went to Paris, we had dinner. He made me promise that I would... that I would help him and carry on for him by helping you. Please let me help.
Well, do you believe me? Yeah. I think maybe I do. Julian and I were like one person in the way we thought and felt. Just because I believe you, it doesn't change things. What thing? Your father. Leave him to me. You just tell him that you want me to work with you, and I'll convince him. I understand your father. You're not my father. I understand how he feels. Your father lost two sons. It's a very hard thing for a parent to outlive his children. He lost two sons to the family business. I know. You're his daughter. You're all he has left. He's not about to lose you. I know how to take care of myself. Well, forgive me for saying so, but so did your brothers. Duke, you can't do this without me. What lies ahead is not very pretty. They're very tough, very rough, hard men. but also very set in their ways. Yes. Yes, but you could get killed in the shuffle, lady. Might. Could. That's negative speculation. Realistic prospect. Your realism isn't mine. I could get killed in the shuffle, too. My family could get killed. I don't like that. You know why? I didn't want to get involved in this bloody mess in the first place. You're in and you can't get out. So let me help you. It'll be safer for your family. And you'll be happier. If you're in Port Charles and I'm here. Why does everything have to be so bloody complicated? We'll keep in touch by phone. It'll work out just fine. Back me. Tell him you want me. Please. I need some time to think about this. Take all the time you need. I'm sure you'll find that I'm right and it's for the best. Come in. Are you leaving? Yes. There's something I'd like you to see before you go, okay? Well, you better make it quick. I want to get out of here. Thank you. I was going through our stock behind the bar and I noticed... I wanted to make sure you remembered what I said. I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to catch the next shuttle home. Have a good flight. Please, Duke. We'll make a wonderful team. Together, we'll be able to accomplish everything Julian wanted. I'll think about it. Now. Better get to the airport. Okay. 